for the second time in barely 24 hours, Merseyside hosted a derby with the potential of having a significant bearing on the title race. And as with the first team at Goodison, it ended in disappointment for Liverpool under-23s as they were beaten at Anfield in the mini-derby on Monday evening. Two goals from Everton forward Nathan Broadhead meant the Blues strengthened their grip at the top of the Premier League two table, gained revenge for home defeat to their neighbours in November, and ended a 13-game unbeaten run for Neil Critchley's Reds. In truth, the scoreline perhaps flattered Liverpool, who huffed and puffed without ever looking as though they would recover from conceding early on. Everton, fast and physically strong, had already sounded a warning with Lewis Gibson's looping header striking the bar when they went ahead in the eighth minute. Josh Bowler found space on the right flank and crossed low to the far post where, after a touch from Everton striker Fraser Hornby, the incoming broadhead stamped home. In response, Rafa Camacho, the Reds' most lively attacker throughout, was twice off target, but Liverpool struggled to make many inroads with Everton's defence showing why they had conceded eight goals in 17 previous Premier League two games this season. Indeed, the visitors should have been further ahead shortly before the interval, when the mix-up between Reds centre-back Corey Whelan and goalkeeper Kaoi and Kalia gave Broadhead a clear sight at goal, but his chip floated wide. Liverpool midfielder Isaac Christie Davies nodded over after half-time, but the Reds were fortunate that Salah Sandu was wasteful after a lightning Everton break. Kalia then saved well from Nathan Jello Markeloa as the Reds toiled for an equaliser in front of a 4,362 crowd. Irish forward Glenn McCauley was introduced in the final quarter as Critchley side Sorters Park, but Everton once more came close as George Johnston's sliding tackle denied Broadhead. Broadhead, though, got his second with a close-range finish three minutes from time after good work from Everton substitute Anthony Gordon down the right. Liverpool U23s are next in action at Derby County on Friday afternoon, when Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is expected to make his long-awaited return from injury. Liverpool U23s Kalia, however, McCauley 74, Whelan, Johnston, Lewis, Coyle, Gallagher 66, Randall, Christy Davies, Camacho, Woodburn, Jones. Subs George, Joanna, Masterson, 